circulating tumor cells and really liquid biopsies in general are of great interest to all of us um, because for the exact reason that you mentioned, getting a tumor biopsy from a patient is it's an invasive procedure. Um, and if we had a means of um, assessing the genomics of a tumor or other features that are therapeutically relevant via a liquid biopsy that's much less invasive, um, I think that's strongly preferable. Um, I think the other thing that's a really nice advantage of, of the liquid biopsy with things such as CTCs or circulating tumor DNA is that these are things that we can assess serially because it simply requires a blood draw versus if we're doing serial assessment of a tumor sample, um, requiring serial biopsies is, is something that it's certainly more challenging. Um, so with regard to CTCs, I think um, particularly in breast cancer patients, which is my area of interest, I think we have shown um, in numerous studies that the presence of circulating tumor cells are prognostic, um, meaning that having CTCs generally confers a worse prognosis. The absence of CTCs generally confers a better prognosis. Um, but I think taking that forward, there's now great interest and being able to both phenotypically and genotypically um, understand sort of the composition of these circulating tumor cells. Can we identify biomarkers that are therapeutically relevant by doing sequencing analyses of these liquid biopsies and then um, applying that to the therapeutics that we ultimately deliver to patients in the clinic?